Hello, I'm Dave Mills. I'm the uh, technology uh, librarian here at the West Wyandotte branch of the uh, Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I'm here today to talk about using Google Maps, which is one of Google's more popular services. You can access Google Maps a couple different ways. First of all, if you're on your computer, you can access your web browser and then type in maps.google.com on the address bar to take you to Google Maps. If you're on your tablet or smartphone, you can actually download the Google Maps app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, and it's a free download. It's free of charge. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get acquainted with Google Maps. I'm going to first take you on the PC version of Google Maps, so I'm going to bring up my internet here. And as I stated from the beginning, um, to get to Google Maps, just click up on your address bar and then type in maps.google.com and press enter. And of course the web page loads for you. And um, this is a, an approximation, actually this is um, the western half of the Kansas City, Kansas area. I'm speaking to you today from the West Wyandotte branch of the Kansas City, Kansas Library. And so um, Google is honing in on my location, and this is the map that I brought up. Now, um, the first thing I like to talk about in using Google Maps is zooming. And sometimes you need to zoom in on a location. Sometimes you need to zoom out to see uh, the region of a location or, or something like that. And there are a couple different ways by which you can zoom. If you look down here at the lower right-hand corner, uh, we have a plus and a minus button right here. The plus here is to zoom in. So when you click on it, you get a tighter shot of a location. Or t um, and if you click on the uh, minus button, it'll zoom out for you, and you can um, get an assessment of the region right here. Now, another way by which you can zoom is by using the scroll wheel on your external mouse. And so if you scroll inward, you can zoom in right there. And as you zoom in tighter, some labels of landmarks and grocery stores and restaurants and hospital facilities show. And then if you scroll out, the labels will disappear, but you do get a um, 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 uh, broad view of Western Wyandotte County here. So that's one thing to consider with Google Maps. Your search engine is up here in the upper left-hand corner right here. And of course, you can search for an exact address, or if if the uh, name of the building is, um, you, if you know the name of the building, you can type in the name of the building in the search field, and sometimes Google is able to find out where that building exactly is for you. And I'll, I'll show you a demonstration of that in just a moment right, right now. But also, I'd like to indicate to you um, the sign-in button, which is over here on the right side. And yes, you can do a Google, Google map search by not signing into your account, but I'd like to recommend that you do sign into your account because Google always saves your Google Map searches and you can use those for future sessions with Google Maps. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. And my password. Wrong password, Dave. And I'm successfully logged in. Up here in the upper right-hand corner, this is my icon, or my some people might call it an avatar. And that lets me know that I've successfully logged in. And I get a little pop-up here um, showing my address right there. But also, um, um, Google also remembers my previous searching in my previous session. And if you look under over here under the search field, these are my uh, last three searches during my last session in Google Maps. Now, um, with that in mind, um, another qu uh, thing I'd like to show you about Google Maps is switching from Maps to Satellite View. Down here in the lower um, left-hand corner is that button. And it'll say Satellite right here. And if you click on it, Google Maps switches over to the um, satellite view, and you can see um, um, all the imagery right here. And if you want to switch back to the map view, just simply click on that same button, and you get your um, um, map back. But anyway, so let's talk about searching here. 
And like I said before, um, up here in the search field, you can type in an exact address. But let's say, for example, that I know the location, but um, I um, I don't know the, I don't know the address. So um, I, um, I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of an antique mall that I sometimes go to. And so um, I'm going to go to um, Keepers. And then as I type, down below, Google um, produces a list of uh, an approximate um, locations that I might see if they're real or not. And if you look at my top result here, it's Keeper Antique Mall. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, and click on this. And this is actually the Keeper Antique Mall, and um, it, it, this red dart shows me where the mall is located right there. And it looks like th this is like I-49 and I-70, but we don't see much more information after that. If you scan over to the left-hand side, that's where Google may be able to help you. And so it's Keeper's Antique Mall, and if you scroll down, you might get a little bit more information right there. Okay, it's uh, located on an outer road in, oh, it's in Harrison, Harrisonville, Missouri, right there. Uh, next line tells you when the business is open, 9 o'clock to 5 p.m. There is a phone number, so if I need to call them, I can call them. And um, that, that's all very good information right there. And then right up here is a picture of, of its location right here. And so that's um, that's the name of the mall. So it's in Harrisonville, Missouri. And um, let's see. Um, if you're wanting to get directions to get to a Keeper's Antique Mall, just simply click on the Directions button, which is right here. And um, Google will place the destination in the bottom field right here, so Keeper's Antique Mall. Here's my location, and that's my starting location here at the library. And so um, it looks like everything is uh, good right here. And if you look over here on the right, here's the actual um, map and um, actual blue line that um, kind of kind of shows my directions to get into Keeper's Antique Mall. Now over here on the left-hand side, um, you can... Um, you can choose a couple of different routings right here. Um, it looks like the first choice is via I-435 South and then over to I-49. Um, I and that's pretty good. And that's 52 miles. Um, and another choice right here is just taking I-49 from downtown all the way down to um, uh, Harrisonville. And then here's the third choice here. And that seems a little bit longer here. So um, these are all approximations right here. And then um, you can send the travel directions to your um, cell phone. So um, I don't have a phone number listed for my email account on this, so I, um, I can't show you that here. But that is a possibility um, where you can send um, a map directions to your phone. Now, um, one thing about doing a, uh, um, a map search is sometimes you just travel to more than one destination. So um, I'm going to add another destination on my uh, um, antique road trip here. And so this time, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to go to the Shawnee Antique Mall. And it appears right here. And so when I do, um, Google over here on the right-hand side adds more directions to get to the Shawnee Antique Mall, which is right smack dab here and it's a little bit closer there and that's also speaks to another thing or another powerful feature with google maps and and that's the fact that um if you have multiple destinations in your um, search sometimes you have to decide which one you want to go to first and which one you want to go to second and so i'm going to go ahead and, and drag to reorder and i'm going to try to make the shawnee antique mall my first destination and keepers antique mall my second destination and to do that, I take my mouse over here to the left-hand side here, click and hold my mouse, and then drag upward to reorder. And it did it. And if you look over here on my map, map look, um, drawing right here, it looks like um, I can you know, leave the library here, drive directly to the Shawnee Antique Mall, and then continue on down to the Keeper's Antique Mall. Now, um, if you decide that you need to remove a destination from your um, map search, 
over here on the right hand side you can simply click on your X to remove the search so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the X and now um, I just have um, directions coming from the library going down to um, Keepers Antique Mall no stops in between now I'm gonna go ahead and um, get out of this mode right here and we're back to Keepers Antique Mall and then a couple other things that I need to show you with this is um, uh, over here on the left hand side panel I already clicked on the directions button right here you can also save your um, your search right there and so for example I, I can save it to my favorites um, or save it to a, a, um, a created list and, and I created a list here antique road trip right there and so that's another thing you can do with your Google Maps search also you can click on nearby and what does that mean well it, it, it might show you where restaurants are or hotels or um, if you need to wet your whistle bars and pubs right there and so um, I'll, I'll click on um, restaurants just to demonstrate it hones in on the uh, my destination and you can see there um, are looks like a couple of barbecue restaurants a, a pizzeria even a Chinese restaurant right there so it looks like there's a whole grouping of restaurants right along I-49 here and so that's a, that's a very powerful feature of Google Maps right there not only can you um, plan for your destination but you can also plan for um, essential things like um, hotel stays eating at restaurants and so forth and so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that and then the final feature along the line right here is the share button right there and so if I click share I can share it to my social media and here it gives me an option of Facebook or Twitter and then also I can copy the link right here and um, and the link is basically um, what um, Google generates up here on the um, on the address bar right there and so you can copy that link and paste it so like if you need to uh, meet somebody and you send them an email copy the link right there paste it in the email to your friend and then they have the exact location where you where you want to meet so anyway so that so that's another powerful feature of um, of Google Maps in the second part of our tutorial I'm going to show you um, Google Maps on an iPad and I just downloaded a Google Maps from the um, Apple App Store to my iPad right here and as a result it loaded up here in the top of my screen over here to the right so I'm going to go ahead and press the open and just like with the um, computer counterpart uh, Google Maps opens with uh, my location in mind as a matter of fact if you look at the center of the screen you'll see a blue dot that indicates my location I'm still located at the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library here. And so uh, one thing that you can do with your um, um, Google Maps on iPad, you can stroke left and stroke right to view um, other locations um, on your map, and up and down to, to go north and south right there. And then also zooming, um, you can use your two fingers, um, if you, and if you place it firmly on your screen and spread your fingers out, you zoom in and then just the opposite if you want to um, zoom out press your fingers on the screen there and bring your fingers close together and you zoom out on your screen right there now I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you another thing with the iPad up here in the upper right hand corner if you press on the um, little button here and this button looks like a diamond with an arrow pointing down if you press on that in the iPad version you get a choice of whether you want to look at the map itself or the uh, satellite version of, uh, of, the, of the region or maybe a, a terrain view here's what the satellite version looks like uh, of, of the this part of the Kansas City Kansas right there and if you want to look at the uh, terrain version I'm going to press on terrain here and it shows you Kansas City Kansas with uh, some some of the rolling hills here um, maybe um, uh, an occasional creek bed or river bed or something like that and so that's also another nice handy feature here I'm going to return back to map views which is the default view and then I'm going to go ahead and log into my account again and I'm back here and I'm back here on uh, on my account and I'm logged in and so I'm going to go ahead and do a search and I'm going to search for another antique mall in the region it's called WD Pickers Antique Mall so I've just pressed search 
And so I'm going to press into the W and then a D. And then pay attention to your drop down list because you never know if the name of your destination appears. And mine does. It's the second result from the top. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. And Google Maps takes me to that location. Um, it's a WD Pickers Antique Mall. And um, you, you see the um, marker here on the map on the right. And if you look at the left, you can see um, examine the record here. It looks like this mall is um, um, in Platte City, Missouri. You can see the business hours. They're open today until 6 o'clock. They've got a business telephone number there. They even have a web page right there. And, and so this is um, uh, a handy feature to have right here. And um, another feature that you can use, is, um, especially in Google Maps, is taking a look at the pictures here. So on the record here, it shows me um, like the exterior of the um, antique mall right here. I'm going to press that. And the picture expands, so I, I get an idea of what um, the, the exterior of the antique mall looks like. And then I can swipe left or right to see pictures associated with the antique mall. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out by hitting the X in the upper left hand corner here. And I'm back to the record right there. Um, now a couple other things too um, to consider. Um, it, right now we're on the overview tab. You can also hit the, the review tab and you can see reviews by other Google users of this establishment right there. And then also um, there's a photo tab so you can look at more pictures right there. And um, also the about tab which has information about handicap accessibility. And if I press that it does look like um, um, Pickers has wheelchair accessibility for their business right there. But I'm going to go back to the overview tab right there and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bring that back down. And um, just like with the PC version, you can establish directions on the iPad. And I'm going to press directions right here. And automatically, um, Google Maps takes my beginning location in mine, and that's where it says your location in the text field up in the upper left hand corner there. And then my destination is WD Pickers Antique Mall. And the, the map shows me how to get there via the, the blue line right there. And see the start button right there? That start button is um, for both your tablet or your iPhone. And if your uh, car has Bluetooth capability, you can actually connect the tablet or the iPhone into your car and you, you can get a GPS um, um, connectivity that gives you turn by turn directions to get to your destination. Um, and then more about this record right here. If you don't have the uh, Bluetooth technology, you can actually um, look at the turn by turn directions here to get your, to your location to as well. So um, that's one option there. And then um, an another thing to consider here um, is over by the WD Pickers Antique Mall right there, you see two arrows, one pointing up and one pointing down. If you press that, you can um, bring up reverse directions. In other words, to get back to your um, original place. So let's say that I'm done you know, shopping at, at the antique mall and I want to come back. Well, Google Maps also calculates my return um, driving directions right there. Okay, in this third part of the uh, Google Maps tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to um, uh, Google Maps on your PC. And I'd like to go ahead and show you a couple of um, accessories associated with Google Maps um, on the PC version. And the first thing I'd like to show you is um, is Street View. And Street View can be activated a couple of ways um, here. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and take my mouse pointer and go up in the upper left hand corner and click on the menu button right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Street View option, which is about halfway down in the menu. And then take a look at the map right there. It looks like uh, a lot of blue spaghetti had just appeared on the map there. Those blue lines are street views that were mapped out by the Google company. And um, if you trace your mouse over some of this and let your mouse rest on a location, Google will generate a picture of what its Google street card um, took in generating all of this. And so I can go up here by talking to Tonganoxie on Highway 40 right there. And it kind of gives me a thumbnail picture of what it looks like there. 
I can go down to, um, let's see, um, like right here on I-70. This is what it gives me right here. And so, and, and then if you want to see a larger version of it, um, you can you can click on it and it'll give you a whole picture right there. But I'm going to show you another location where you can activate the Street View. So I'll go back up here to the uh, menu bar and I'm going to click on Street View to deactivate it here. The other location where you can activate the Street View is down here in the lower um, right hand corner of your screen right here. And this little fellow right here is the Street View icon. And to activate your Street View, just simply point at him and then click and hold down on your mouse. And then if you move your mouse here, um, you'll see that you get the same um, um, blue lines that we did before, or the blue spaghetti as I called it before. And um, one of the things that I like to do is um, I like to um, try to um, see what's along I-35 here, maybe close by to where it says Edgerton right here. So I'm going to approximate being on Edgerton right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and let go of my mouse and my street view icon drops. And it gives me a 360 perspective of where I am. It looks like I'm on a, um, looks like I'm on West 207th Street right there. And this is the street view right here. And it's a 360 in perspective right here. And then uh, a couple things here. Here's a compass down here in the lower right hand corner to give you directions. I believe north is the red um, needle right here. So this is looking north, but also um, it does mark the road right there. And so um, it looks like we're on West 207th Street. And just for, um, if you want to traverse along this road a little bit, see this little arrow right here? Well, if I click on it, the street view advances me along the road right here. And just the opposite, if I um, decide to do a turnaround, I can also see what is going on in this direction. Now this comes in handy, especially if you're trying to uh, determine your location. Um, you can have secondary landmarks to help you find your location. So that's the that's one of the purposes of Street View right there. I'm going to hit the back arrow here to back out of this, and I'm back to my map right there. And so that's one one advantage of of, of the Street View. Okay, another button that I'd like to show you is down here in the lower um, right hand corner. And it's above my zoom buttons that I showed you at the start of the tutorial. And it's this button right here. And it, this, I click on this button so that Google Maps will hone in on my exact location. And so I'm going to click. And Google knows that I'm at the uh, Kansas City, Kansas Public Library again. And, well, I've never left, actually. But um, here it is at 82nd and, and, and parallel right here. And if I zoom in a little bit, hopefully I'll get a little label telling me... Um, I'm at the Kansas City, Kansas Library, and here we go, right there. And so, um, so that's what the purpose of this button right here is. Okay, now um, another feature um, is labeling. And um, so, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and return us back to the Keeper's Antique Mall, right there. And then I'll direct your attention to the left side of the screen right here. And sometimes. Um, it might be important to add a label to your destination for assistance in, in finding that location. So I'm going to click on Add Label. And if you look towards the top here, it says Add Label. And I'm going to say, um, uh, I'm going to say, My Antique Destination. And then I'm going to go ahead and press Enter to add the label. And if you look at the uh, Keeper's Antique um, uh, Destination here, it now reads My Antique Destination, Keeper's Antique Mall. Now, for the purpose of searching, um, if you want to search for Keeper's Antique Mall again, you can start off your typing with My Antique, and you can see that um, uh, my uh, Keeper's Antique Mall destination is the top um, uh, search result at the top here. For further assistance with things like Google Map or any technology, you're welcome to give us a call here at the library. Our phone number is 913-295-8250. You're also welcome to visit our webpage, www.kckpl.org. And I will tell you that uh, we will have future tutorials on our blog with a lot, all sorts of technology. 
ranging from simple apps like Google Maps to maybe research apps like Learning Express Library or um, Ancestry.com or um, any of our KCKPL databases. So once again, if you have um, um, a question about technology, you can give us a call or you can visit our website. Um, this is Dave Mills. Thank you for your time and have a good day.